In this code.org tutorial, we're going to continue exploring for loops. Super critical part of programming. It allows us, the coder, to control the amount of times we repeat steps and make use of a variable during it. Did that all sound confusing? It won't be. Let's dive in. This is code.org. Let's see what we have. Free play. Experiment with the for loop and counter variables. Drag out a few blocks to see what happens. Ooh, I'll speed this up and show you what I have at the end. All right, so what I've done here is I use this first counter goes one to four and I count up by one. Now I move forward then. So count, I say pick the green, the red paint. And what I'm having to do here is start from the number one, move all the way up to four, and we're only going to go up by one each time. And then here I just say go forward 90, turn right 90 degrees. So I'm not actually using counter in it. I'm just using it to go through four times because counter starts at one. We add one each time. And once we hit four, we're done, which is why I draw a red square originally. Now this one, I then change to blue when I hit this counter. This time I'm going to use the counter variable. So I say counter is going to be equal to 100 and we're going to go up to 150. We count by 25 each time. So the first time through forward counter, it knows, oh yeah, counter is currently 100 and I draw 100. Then I go below and it's turn right 120, zoop, hit the bottom, zoop. Okay, counter was 100, but we got to count up by 25. So counter is 125, I draw 125, turn right, and then counter becomes 150. All right, let's keep going. Let's see what else we're doing. Use the repeat loop inside of the for loop to create this stack of triangles that goes from 50 to 100 pixels. So we can't use more than 11 blocks and we're gonna use a repeat loop. Okay, first let's make a triangle. I'm gonna start by what I always do and I throw down code. It tells us it's 100 pixels. And I know because of previous stuff that that should be, oh, it shows us with him turning, that's handy. So let's see, that's boom. Yep, that's looking good. Cool. And so that runs and I put all the code here. If I want them to turn at the end to face the same direction, I hope you're yelling at me now because there's a faster way, right? Look, so that will make this triangle, but I could use a repeat block. I'm doing the same thing over and over. A triangle has three sides. So instead of repeating myself, I'm going to grab a loop and I'll just say repeat three times because I'm certain it's just going to be three times. Now, though, we need a triangle, a stack of triangles that goes from 50 to 100 pixels. Well, I'm pretty sure this is right because that's how you create a triangle, but I'm going to need to change up the size. What's doing the size right now? This number is. So let's go ahead and look at our loops again. Loop, and I'm going to put this in here because it tells us we're going to use a repeat and a for loop. Now, if I need to go to 50 to 100, I'm just going to say, OK, well, then I guess I want counter to start at 50. I want it to go to 100. Now, it doesn't really tell us, does it? but it defaulted to 10 here. So I guess I'll try that. Now, this doesn't do anything yet because it's just, let me speed this up. I'm just gonna do the same thing over and over again. But now let me use my variable. So counter is equal to 50 to start. So instead of drawing something 100 long, I'm gonna draw something counter long. Ooh, so let's check that out. And slowly, each time it goes through, counter goes up by 10. If counter goes up by 10 each time, we start at 50, we run through, draw three sides, hit the bottom, right? Once we're done repeating, go back to the top. Well, counter is just 50, 50 goes up by 10. 10. So now counter 60, 60, still not 100. So we keep going, draw a triangle of 60 length sides, three sides, whoop, then 70, 80, and pow, onward. All right, create these triangles that go from 20 pixels sides to 200 pixels, where each triangle is 20 pixels larger than the last. Okay, so they're giving us a lot of hints there. I'm going to go by what we just did, and I'm going to say, okay, I know a triangle has three sides, and let's see, 20 pixel sides. So I'm going to start at 20. Well, wait a minute here. If I'm starting at 20, let me take a look at this guy. So I'm going to start with 20 being the number. We drop all these together. I don't want a number here because it changes. I want it to be a variable. So I'm going to start it at 20, and I need to go to 200, okay? And then how much does it go up each time by 20? Okay, well, this is a good start. However, I'm gonna draw three sides, but I'm gonna draw it just going forward. I never turn here. So let me make sure to turn. And there, I'll do left, I think, by 120. It's always good to test this stuff. So I'm gonna pull this out of here because this is already throwing me off. And before I do all that, let me just test that this will even draw a triangle at all. 
And it does. So that draws one. Okay, so now I know that works. So instead of using the number 20, I'm going to use counter. Now counter doesn't equal to anything unless I use this block. Because then I say, okay, start counter at 20. We're going to count to 200. First time through, counter is going to be equal to 20. We count it by 20 each time. We hit this. We go through this three times. So three times over, I have to repeat this stuff in this little mouth. Move forward by counter. What did I say counter was? 20. Turn left 120 degrees. Droop. I draw three sides of 20. Then I go back to the top. Counter was just 20, but we got to count out by 20. So now counter is 40. 40 is not 200. We keep going. So then we draw 40. We go back to the top. 40 plus 20 is 60. So then we draw a 60 triangle and eventually all the way onward. Whoa. These squares start at 15 pixels long. The largest is 300 pixels long. And each square is 15 pixels larger than the last. All right. So that's a lot of info, but we're getting good at this. So a square is four sides. I'll leave that. And they start at 15. So I'll take that as a hint and put this at 15 for starters. And then how do we turn with a square? Well, it's going to be a right angle. So great. Let me go left, though, apparently. Well, that only is going to get me the first one. So like we've been doing so far, let me go ahead and grab one of these guys. And we need to go to 300. So the number that we end with is here. We start at 15. So the number we start with is here. And then it wants us to count up by 15. Boom. OK, so this is like what we've been doing. Now, this will draw the same thing so a whole bunch of times over and over. But we want to use our counter variable because counter will be equal to 15 the first time through. We'll draw four sides of 15 turning each time. Then we say, OK, counter was equal to 15. We count up by 15, so now it's 30. 30 is not 300. We keep going. Then counter was 30. Then it's 45. Then 60. And kapow, onward. And here we are, just one little change to code from the last image can create this drawing. Can you figure out what that change is? Oh, I bet they're trying to show us how handy having counter, think of counter like a variable is. So it looks like this is a bit different in size maybe? Yeah, okay. But wait a minute, does each square have four sides? One, two, three, four. But aren't they growing faster maybe? Well, each time they're changing how big they are. What will happen then if I get rid of this 3P4 for a minute and do something like this? That way, counter is going to go up by 15 each time. Whoa. So I want you to see what's happening here. Counter starts at 15 and it goes to 300. When I hit run, it's and it's going to go up by 15. Counter is 15, so we move forward 15 and I turn left 90. Then I hit the bottom, go back up here. Now counter was 15, but we count up by 15. So 15 plus 15 is 30. We're not at 300, so 30. I move 30 up. Hit, turn right 90, zoop, hit the bottom, back to the top. Now we count up by 15 again. 30 plus 15 is 45, so now we're at 45, and we're still not yet at 300, so we just keep going here. And this would, would be 45, so on and so forth. And then once we get to 300, our guy will stop, which is going to be here. Bam, onward. All right, yep. All right, if you turn a bit more or less than normally, for this shape, it creates a neat effect. Recreate your code from the last level, but turn 89 degrees to create this twist spiral. Okay, so if you've got what last was, go check it out. Make sure you understand how that's working. I did go through it, so if you're stuck, check that out. But we started at 15 and we went to 300 for counter. Notice I'm gonna leave blue on the outside because I'm not gonna change the color each time, so I don't need to repeat it. I don't need it in a loop. Oh, we go to 300 and we're gonna go up by 15 for each side. Then what we did, or I said move forward, Oh, they have it already. That's handy. So I want to move forward by counter, whatever counter is equal to at that moment. And then I was turning, turn right, 90, except it's saying give 89 a shot. And I, uh, we were turning left. So this is what we had last time that I just walked through. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So it makes a larger impact as we run. Cool. Onward. Make three small changes to the code from your last level. Now, I want to point out, guys, with variables like counter, we can make a change such as how much it goes up by, and suddenly the whole shape is different. Whereas before, we would have had to do this each time having a different number, right? So instead of having counter here, we would have had a line with 15, we would have had a line with 30, we would have had a line with 45, then 60, because each time we're adding 15 to this and run through. So we'd have to have an individual line of code and turn for all of that stuff because we would need to change counter ourselves. Whereas now counter just means a number that's equal to 15 at start, it goes up by 15, and once we get to 300, we're gonna be done. So small changes. This looks a bit skinnier, so let me start there. 
But this looks like a lot tighter, maybe. Notice? And do they switch? I think they're going right now. Let me reset. Yeah, you see how he's making a right turn and I'm making a left? And it looks a lot tighter. Look how small these ones are to start. So I'm going to half this to seven. Let's see. Let's try three. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's not it. Hopefully we're getting there. Let's try two. Uh, cool. So that's super tricky. But if I change this to two and I flip this to right, each time we run now, it just goes up by two. So there's going to be more lines. Onward. Whoa. Okay, so this is what we have right now. Take the angle down to 72 degrees and get a spiral pentagon. Let's see. Do we believe them? Whoa, okay. Huh. That's super cool too. So again, notice that all we have to do is make one change and the loop is gonna take care of a lot of this for us. Whereas before we would have had to write so many lines of code. All right, onward. Well, do I like that color? What if I do a green maybe or a teal? I don't know. So cool. All right, inspiration. Use the counter inside set alpha block to get something like this, faded center. Oh. So alpha is going to be, there's colors and then alpha. Alpha, I believe, is going to be transparency. Let's test it. So red, green, blue, and alpha. 50. Let's do like 20. Yeah, you see how it's almost a shadow? So alpha must be transparency. So if it gets darker as we go out, hmm, you think they, notice counter is already going up. So I wonder if I set this to, counter still not big enough though uh oh 60 degree turn let's try that and then each time counter changes we start really light with two but we end up at 300 which i'm sure 100 is usually the maximum for darkness that's really cool i think we got it onward oh so let's take a look at this remember once you pick one and hit run you can't change your answer and it's submitted to your teacher so if i'm your teacher it's submitted to me so let's think about it we use the counter from our for loop to change the width and brush of this line drawing. Okay, so what happens? We first pick the color red and then for, from, for counter from one to 200, count by five. So the first time we go through this, it will be a one. And so we set the width counter divided by five. Wow, so that's really thin because one fifth is the width. And then we move forward by counter. Counter is equal to one, keep in mind. And then we turn right by 59 degrees. Okay, so not quite 60, but not 90. 90 would be a right angle, so something like this. Hit the bottom, we go back up here. Now, instead of being one, count by five. So we started at one, we're going up by five, we're at six then, right? And now six divided by five, it's a bit more than one, so at a width of one, and we go forward by six pixels, and then we do this little bit of a angle again. Let's be like a pentagon almost, hit this back to the top. So now we're at 11. So now we're at a width of two. So it's slowly getting to be more of a width and longer. Is that one of the answers? The draw a straight line increases in thickness from one side of the play space. And the artist will draw a spiral. Yeah, well, we were kind of turning. And each time through the for loop, the line gets longer and thicker. Yeah, because the counter grows. And even if we're dividing this by five, counter is still going up each time, right? So it'd still be getting bigger, just not as wide as it does long. Let's see this. We'll do oh, not thinner. Ooh, thicker. That's a trap. So it gets larger. It gets thicker each time. Let's see. Looks right to me. Onward. Oh, I've been waiting for this free play. I'm going to mess around with this. I'll throw a bunch of code down and explain it. But uh, I love it. So I based mine off what we did in the previous one, something like this. And then something I did that was unique, I put it inside of a repeat block. So what happens here is counter is going to start at 16 and it goes to 200. I'm counting up by four. I then divide it by 35. I just messed around with this to pick a huge number. So the width is counter divided by 35, meaning it's certainly less than one at first. And you can tell it's teeny tiny here. Move forward by whatever counter is equal to. So my first line in each one of these is 16. Turn right 59 degrees because I like that shape from the last level. I hit the bottom of this. So after doing this for loop and going all the way up to 200, 16, then 20, then 24, so on. Once I hit 200, I run through and I'm done with that. I jump to zero to 200, 200, which I know is the center of the screen. I then draw my turtle sticker because turtles rock. I pick our new random color and then I repeat that five times. And you could do all sorts of stuff with this. Change up numbers, have your different shapes, of course. I hope you did something really cool too. The only thing I wanna point out is I picked my color way up here to be red because then it's only red once, right? Because it sets it before these repeats and it'll be a different random each time. Hope yours is awesome, onward.